I am fascinated by and an international promoter of the so-called system theory and systems approach. From some of you, it's a bit strange, but the difference between system approach and analytical approach is then we are facing complexity, either if you are a scientist, a politician, or an industrialist, we tend to cut in tiny little pieces. This is called the analytical system. We cut complexity in tiny little pieces, which, is, which are very difficult to combine together to see the emerging properties. System approach is very complementary. You use the interdependencies between elements of a complex system, how they interact, what, are, what is the dynamic of this uh, evolution, and what are the properties that emerge to create a new system and new properties. This is what I've been promoting for many years. I wrote a book called The Macroscope in 75. I use this in my teaching. I use this in management, in education. I use the system approach for environment, for health, because it allows to see how things interact with each other. And I want to use this approach for Mauritius to help the energetic transition not concentrating on certain energies rather than others, promoting solar or wind, but having a global view, a system view, of how they can interact each other for the future. And this is something that I've been looking for for a long time, and I give you two examples which can be applied to Mauritius. First, first thing is to realize that this is a real challenge for the future of Mauritius and for the world. I took the words of Michel Serres, a very French famous philosopher is behind me. It's not a crisis, it's a change of world. The change of world I'm mentioning with you is the fusion of the digital ecosystem and the energy ecosystem. The energy ecosystem, we live in it, we're promoting it with the society for many years, hundreds of years, even thousands of years. The digital ecosystem is much newer, but the, the, great change of, the great change of world is the fusion between the digital and the energy ecosystem. And that's what I want for Mauritius. That's what I want for Mauritius. And as I told you about systemic approach, I want to apply it, and I give you two examples which illustrates what I'm meaning for Mauritius. The first example starts with the COP21. You remember this meeting in Paris of many countries of the world to talk about the future of energy for the world and climate change. And there was at the Hotel de Ville in Paris 1,000 mayors from 1,000 1, towns all around the world, cities, and what they were saying, some of the major cities of the world, they told in 2040, some of them say 2030, we were in 2017 at the time, we will, we will be autonomous in energy production. We'll produce enough energy for the city to live without using oil, coal or gas. And I was so impressed by that, that I went to one of the cities called Copenhagen, who have said that, that it will be completely autonomous in energy use and production and distribution in 2030, 2040. I said, how are you going to do it? And they, were, they were, are going to do it through the system approach that is not considering energy separately, but considering a fusion between energy ecosystem, digital ecosystem, and people participation not only politicians and uh, industries, but people. People participation using apps on this extraordinary tool that we all have on our pocket, which is a powerful computer that we call, still call the smartphone. But if you realize, it's not only something to talk or go on the internet, it's a universal remote controller. With your smartphone, you can click in the environment and change the ecosystem. You can act, millions of people can act on the environment because we have app, app, apps in a short and we have put in the environment sensors. Sensors we can understand our smartphone and we can change new functions 
at distance you can increase the heat of your home or your office. You can choose a place for the office at certain hours to have a meeting and so on. So the importance is the fusion of the digital and the energy ecosystem. So I went to Copenhagen and they told me how they did it, how they do it by a combination of, of the energy and the digital system. Then I learned from two startups in America, two young startups, how they used the digital world and the energy world to help people sell their energy to other people around them. I was very interested by that because it, saw, it shows the participation of people in energy production and energy money making. That motivates a lot of people. You can not only produce natural uh, renewable energies, but if you have too much of this renewable energy for you, you can sell it to your neighbors. And the two startups which exist showed me in Brooklyn how they did it. And the way they do it is using something, maybe you heard of it, called the blockchain. The blockchain is a reliable system which allows you to receive money from the other people and that other people are sure that you send them the money. It's called the blockchain. It's a chain of blocks which you cannot change but you can, which are transparent and you can see in the whole chain who is doing what with what. So those, those two examples, Copenhagen on one hand and Brooklyn on the other hand, where people use the blockchain to sell the excessive energy that they've produced through renewables, told me why this could not be applied to Mauritius. Why this could, Mauritius is like a big city. 1,500,000 people, so it's like a big city. And if it's applied to Copenhagen, if it's applied to Brooklyn, why not in Mauritius? And I think that the, the idea, which is moving a bit slowly, but it's still moving in Mauritius, is the idea of a smart city. A smart city is a city which uh, have all the interactive tools on, the, on an internal intranet, in a sort of thing, where everything communicates with everything, people with objects, objects between objects, and the concept of the smart city in Mauritius, which is starting, should be extended to the whole country. This is what I call smart Mauritius. I, you remember, I I've, I've proposed several years ago in 2002, when I came here in Port Louis, giving conference on the beginning of the internet for Mauritius. I did the promotion of internet for Mauritius by calling Mauritius the digital island. That was in 2002. Then in 2007, I proposed Mauritius, the sustainable island, Maurice Ile Durable, how to integrate all the energy and save economy energy to make the, the, the country sustainable for the future. Now, if you imagine, you can fuse the two ecosystems, the digital ecosystem and the energy ecosystem, and you have a new Mauritius that I call Smart Mauritius. And now we can work on it right now because the idea of the smart city is already there and, and, and the politicians are planning it in different places. So as the Copenhagen example shows and the Brooklyn example shows, Mauritius as a platform for innovation could be a model for the world in combining the digital ecosystem and the energy ecosystem. And you can, all of you, participate into this. Because as I told you, the digital ecosystem communicates with your telecommande, in a way, the same telecommande that you use for your television, the universal remote controller, it's in every pocket in this room, called the smartphone. Now, combining a clickable environment, that's the role of industrialists and politicians, create the clickable environment. If you exaggerate it, you have the film Minority Report, when Tom Cruise walks in a, in a, in a supermarket, super shop, and his eyes are recognized, and all the publicity and advertising is put corresponding to what he needs in one. This is an excess. In China today, the Artificial intelligence recognizes the faces of everybody and gives a social quality number to every person in China. They can borrow money in the bank if they are a good citizen, or they cannot travel if they are not good citizens, and the camera sees that. This is an excess. It's an exaggeration. It's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that more we will use 
artificial intelligence for two things very soon. Number one, you're recognizing your face. Your phone already does it. But uh, a digicode of a, of a home in which you want to enter will recognize your face. Amazon will recognize your face as being you buying the product. And, and the second is automatic real-time translation of every language in many languages. So those two things, based on artificial intelligence, are going to change our behavior in the smart city. The smart city concept, I like it, but what I don't like it with the smart city concept, or smart Mauritius if it ever comes, is that most of the engineers influencing the politicians and the industrialists concentrate on the tools. Or concentrate on the, I won't say, but I say it, the gadget. What is, it, what is important are the use, what people are doing with it, what people are doing with those tools to be more intelligent. It's not the smart city. It's, it, the city is not intelligent. It's us, us becoming more smart in a city which gives us a lot of opportunity to increase our brain, no, namely with auxiliary or artificial intelligence. So th those concepts of fusing the digital world and the energy world are a challenge for the future of Mauritius. It's a challenge I try to contribute to help people go in that direction with my approach that I described to you in the beginning, the approach of the system approach rather than the analytical approach. The problem with the system approach regarding analytical approach, that the analytical approach is, as we say in French, porteur de pouvoir. To reason analytically for an industrialist or for a politician allows the expression of power. When the system approach needs cooperation and sharing, it needs transversal power. And politicians don't really like transversal power. They like to exert their own power at the top of the pyramid. So the system approach in energy is very often left on the side. This is what I'm trying to do when I'm Mauritius here, to contribute, to give industrialists and politicians, and you, the people, the idea that together, with the system approach of the energy in Mauritius, we can change this country for the future and motivate the young generation. So Mauritius can be a model for the world if it can combine the digital ecosystem and the energy ecosystem, and that will be your role with this fantastic remote control that you have in your pocket, the smartphone. Thank you.